What's going on guys, it's Modern Warfare here and welcome back to another episode of JTAG Tutorial. So in this episode I've got quite a short video for you guys and that is on how to adjust your fan speed on your RGH or JTAG console. Um, and this is going to be a way to do it without freestyle dash, getting away from freestyle dash because a lot of people are moving on to Aurora and I'm seeing a lot of people kind of like when's Aurora going to be implementing the fan speed setting. And from what I've seen on the real mod scene, they're not planning to implement a fan speed setting for uh, Aurora. They may change their mind in the future, but at the moment it doesn't look like they're going to be doing that. And to be honest, there's no real need for them to do so. There's plenty of other ways you can adjust your fan speed, better ways, because Freestyle Dash is not a good way to adjust your fan speed because you have to boot into Freestyle Dash in order for the fan speed setting that you've applied to actually um, work, to actually be implemented it only works when you've booted into freestyle dash and if you're putting a stealth server on there then you're not going to be booting into freestyle dash you're just going to run on normal fan speed which could cause the console to overheat if you say booted into zell for whatever reason then your fan speed's not going to going to be adjusted so it's not a great way to set your fan speed with freestyle dash so i'm going to show you two ways that i use quite commonly to adjust my fan speed and they are much better ways because you just hit the power button on your console and the fan speed setting kicks in straight away um, as soon as you turn the console on. Even if you boot into Zell with the eject button, you still have your fan set fan speed setting uh, set for you. So the way to do this, first thing I'm going to do is head into XCX menu and then boot up uh, Dash Launch version 3.16. If you're running an older version of Dash Launch, it should still work fine um, as long as dash launch does work on whichever kernel you're running so go ahead I suggest you download 3.16 though there'll be a link in the description and if you don't know how to install it I have a JTAG tutorial episode 3 on how to do it I'll link that in the description as well so we're just going to go into the installer and launch the default.xcx and that's going to take us into dash launch from there what you want to do is press right bumper then press right bumper again head down to system info and then just press up on the left stick once and it will take you, you've got this little green box over the CPU fan speed override and from there you can just use your left stick to scroll the fan speed and you should be able to hear it in the background I'm not going to be adjusting the audio on this video so you'll, sh so you'll be able to hear the background noise that's it running at 100% now for me, I say 50 is a good speed for my console, but it really depends on the console that you have. If you have a Xenon, then you're gonna to want to be running the fan speed very high to keep it cool. So if you have a Jasper or a Trinity, then you can usually have it around about 50 or 60 is usually comfortable enough for those consoles. So all you have to do is get the fan speed that you want. I'm comfortable with 50. And then I'm gonna just press A to save config. And then when I I'm not sure, normally you don't have to um, go back and save it, save the settings to the launch.ini, but maybe it's an idea to do that so you can press back or B um, and then left bumper and then X to save settings to launch.ini, but I don't think the fan speed is set is saved in the launch.ini, uh, to be honest, because normally you can just click save config and then exit and it should still save the fan speed setting. But anyway, you can do that and then just press B and that'll back you out. And that's it, my fan speed is set to 50. So now even if I just turn the console on with the power button, then it's gonna work and it's gonna set the fan speed to 50 as soon as I turn the console on. Now the other way of doing this is to use fan speed patches, which are XEX files that you can run. And before I knew about the whole setting the speed in dash launch, I always used to use these fan speed patches but I will give you one word of warning, which is if you're going to use these, there is a risk that you could damage the console. Not, well, you could damage the NAND. I have had it. It wasn't with these specific XEX files, but back on my Xenon console back in uh, 2010 with my old Xenon JTAG, I did get an E66 error or something like that when I ran one of these fan speed patches, but that was a different set of fan speed patches and that was years ago since then I've never had an issue and I've been using them all the time but this is another way that you can set your fan speed so I've got them here and I'll link them in the description a download to this and all you have to do is run one of these files now you want to copy it to your internal hard drive your HDD, HDD1 
rather than running it off a USB, do not run it off a USB stick. You're supposed to put these fan speed patches on your hard drive and then run them from the hard drive. So go ahead, copy them to your hard drive like I have here, and then just run whichever speed you want. So you've got 0% speed, which you do, do not want to be using at all. I don't even know why that's included. 100% um, speed, uh, 44, 50, 60, 80, and 90, and even auto speed. So for me, I would select 50 and run it, but because I've already set it in dash launch to 50, let's try, um, let's try 80 to see if it works. So what you have to do is press A to launch the XCX file, and it should just kick you back to the dashboard after the black screen. So obviously my default dashboard is Aurora, so it's gonna kick me back into Aurora, but it basically boots you back into your dashboard, and the fan speed will not change until you power cycle your console. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'll just uh, stop my uh, recording of my, my game capture. So you'll probably just have a black screen right now, but you'll be able to hear hopefully the change. It's only going from 50 to 60, so there might not be a, a big noise change, but I'll turn the console off. Turn it back on. Yeah, you should definitely be able to hear the difference. No, it was 80, wasn't it, I ran, I think, yeah. So that's that's another way to do it. And you can see as soon as I hit the button, the power button, I'll turn my recording back on, but we're on the Xbox logo now. But as soon as I hit the button, you heard the fan speed change. So that is basically how you set your fan speed. You can also do it within XE Build when you're building your NAND, when you're updating the dash kernel, you can um, change the fan setting from in there. So it's up to you which one you want to use. Dash launch is probably the one I would recommend because you have a proper slide bar and you can select exactly where you want it. The fan speed patches are another option. You just run the XEX file of the speed that you want and it will set it to that speed. So yeah, that is it. That's how you adjust your fan speed. There's no need to really have a fan speed option in Aurora, um, especially when doing it through dash launch and doing it through a fan speed XEX is much, uh, a much better way of doing it. So yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave it a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next one. Shuffling